Hi guys. It's a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful spring day. I think we're at the final day of April, which would be it is a Monday morning. You know, right at noon on Monday, April 30th, 2024. We are what are we? One third of the way through 2024. I have just crossed the line to the great state of Kentucky. It's been a few years since I've been in the great state of Kentucky. I'm going to spend one night in the state in the town of Frankfort, Kentucky, where I have never been, where I'm going to be visiting uh, some old friends from Austin, Texas, uh, who I've not seen in years. They uh, shocked everybody by uh, selling their house, packing up their bags, and moving into a. Uh, let me tell me. This truck is trying to tell me something. I wonder what he's trying to tell me. I hope he's not telling me that my gators are ready to fall off. It's going to stop back there at the uh, welcome. Anyway, I will assume he's not uh, telling me my gator's ready to fall off. So anyway, these are some old friends of mine uh, from Austin who uh, totally shocked everyone. few years ago and I uh, sold their home and packed up their bags and moved to Frankfort, Kentucky and they seem to be enjoying it and I just want to check out the scene that they have created for themselves in a small town in Kentucky. Uh, so anyway, they are you know, just another example. So I have, uh, over the past several days, I have been hanging out with normies. And so tonight uh, will be yet one more night before heading back to Doomerville in New York. Uh, hanging out with normies now uh, okay, the the wife did not join us in when I was visiting my buddy in Atlanta, uh, but I'm, I'm kind of going to include her in this. So if you if if you include her in there, what it, who I've been hanging out with is three couples, and it will be. Uh, we will make that four tonight who, who could all be described. Okay, I would say every one of them and and like me uh, are between I think the youngest one is 63 and the oldest one is 72 uh, out, out of these eight people. Every one of these couples are, uh, well, for what it means, they are white. And they are white, heterosexual uh, couples in long-term marriages. And in, in, in long-term, I'm assuming, monogamous, uh, successful marriages. So they're... None of them are flying solo like I am, so they're, you know, your average boomers uh, in, in happy long-term relationships. Every one of these marriages seem to be successful, uh, and the, the other theme running through uh, these, well, there's a couple of them. So, so every one of these eight people, they're in excellent physical health. 
there there is not an ounce of fat to be found on, 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 on these eight people. They are physically fit, they're healthy, uh, there, there's that, and they are all very financially well off. I, I, I'm not talking they live the lifestyles of the rich and famous, but you know what I, you, you know what I'm saying? None of these couples uh, have any financial worries. So as far as I know, they have zero financial worries. Uh, they are all in excellent health and and happy marriages. Uh, all four of these couples. Uh, a little bit of difference in the political of two of these couples are hardcore lefty couples and the other two couples I guess I might call soft right. So uh, they don't all agree. They're not all on the same political spectrum, but but none of the couples are, you, you, you know, are rabidly political. There, there's no MAGAs or Biden tards. You, you know what I'm saying. No one is could be considered radical left or radical right. They are, they are all just, uh, you know, just as I say, they, uh, they, it, it, as far as I can tell now, I, well, I, I, I haven't gotten together with my friends who uh, live in Kentucky now, but uh, I, I'm assuming it's safe to say because I haven't heard any different uh, through the grapevine that, that they're just happily married, healthy, financially well-off boomers uh, in, in the middle of 2024. Uh, none of them you know, just grossly ostentatious in their wealth. Just they, they, they are what they are. None of them, uh, of course, it goes without saying, none of these eight people are doomers. Uh, but, but actually, there might be, I, I understand that one of the men actually uh, listens to my. Uh, L listens to my videos every now and then unbelievably so I don't know I don't think there's anything uh, that, that I can say that can bother him he's a really nice guy that's the other thing every one of these people are really really nice folks just absolutely the nicest folks uh, you, you, you ever want to meet every one of them uh, just, just wonderful people to be around. Now, none of them are doomers, but at the same time, none of them are, are clueless morons either. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they're they're on the spectrum, as most people are. They're they're pretty much in the. I I, I would say they're in the middle of the bell curve. Uh, they are they are not just absolute clueless morons about what's going on on this planet but they sure as hell aren't doomers although I do think one of them might be a little bit more of a doomer than they uh, generally let on uh, in, in in their social group I do suspect we have a, uh, a a closet doomer adjacent uh, in, in the group. Uh, if anyone in the group is listening to this, uh, they probably know which one of the eight I am talking about. Uh, but anyway, I'm I, I, I'm just you know interacting with these folks and just 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 listening what it is that people like that talk about. It, 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 every one of these people are, are people that 
percent of this planet uh, would 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 want to be. You know what I'm saying? That I uh, I I would guess. 85% of the planet looking at their lives, uh, their lifestyles, their beautiful homes, their nice cars, uh, their comfortable lives. Uh, at least 85% of this planet would probably like to trade places with them. And, 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 and I'm just listening to what they they talk about and now I, I, I do want to add it you know if I had not gone down this rabbit hole in 2008 if if 16 years ago I had never stumbled into this sewer called the Doomosphere my guess is I would be one of them uh, I, I would be a hell of a lot more financially well off and my guess is I would have a woman in my life. I, I, I'm just assuming uh, that, that, I would, uh, that, that I would be in a relationship, uh, maybe married, I don't, but, I, but I would have a woman I would have uh, a hell of a lot more money, like in 10 to 20 times the amount of money that I have, and would own at least one, if not two, beautiful homes, uh, what, what would be my guess that my wife and I, or my, my woman and I, would just, what we if I had not gone down this rabbit hole, I would have just melted right into this group. The five couples, the ten of us, could could get together and j just do whatever pe people like this do. And uh, it's, it's, it's just... You know, the, the, the conversations like, uh, okay, you know, what they're, they're uh, obviously, uh, there's a lot about the, the beautiful vacations they've taken, the vacations they have planned. Home improvement is, is real big. Uh, all of the various home improvement projects. So under, uh, understand that not one of these couples has any kids living at home. Uh, okay, so in every one of, in every instance, what it is is two people live, living in a beautiful home. Their kids are grown and on their own. So, uh, like like we were the Airbnb that I was staying at. So one of these couples is running this Airbnb, and we were just just out in his uh, I don't know what you would call it uh, his machine barn or his motorcycle barn. He has uh, this fellow has uh, I think he owns two. Harley Davidsons and a BMW. If uh, he might have one of the Harleys up for sale, but I think this man owns three, you know, nice, expensive, beautiful uh, motorcycles, this big, beautiful tractor, which of course could eat my little gator for breakfast, uh, a monster truck, a, a some sort of convertible sports car, little roadster looking thing that I saw. I think I might have seen a golf cart and uh, we were standing out in his uh, out in his uh, barn or garage, I don't know what he calls this, this outbuilding. Uh, and I told him, uh, and I was describing my Airbnb to him. 
and uh, trying to get a fix, uh, you know, try and get him to understand what I'm talking about. So I told him correctly, I, you know, I, I said, well, I have my main cabin. Uh, I said, I have the main cabin, <coughs> you know, which is rented out all year. Uh, I have three tiny houses that I rent out, uh, as, you know, as part of the vacation rental thing, uh, that I rent out three cabins and I have my camper when all three cabins are rented that I, uh, and all three tiny houses are rented that, you know, I sleep in my camper. And I was telling them how if you add up all five, all five, of my quote housing units they would be you know that they, they add up to just below 700 square feet and I in his the room we were standing in I or, or the barn or whatever what did he say it was I, I, anyway uh, a, a hell of a lot bigger so I was pointing out to him that all five of my residential units could fit in the room in in one of his outbuildings that uh, one room in one of his outbuildings uh, was bigger than all five of my residential units combined and uh, <laughs> it, it, it's it, and and and, 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 you know, and, and, and I'm just sitting there, uh, d just soaking in the conversations, one part uh, of, of the conversation during dinner last night is that one of them was talking about a friend of theirs who makes $30,000 a week in royalties, I don't know exactly, for, 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 for not lifting a finger, uh, just in these royalties from uh, other stuff they've done earlier in their life, that this one guy, you know, about our age, one, one, one of us, it, it has $30,000 in what uh, is called mailbox money coming in every week which is of, of course you know thirty thousand dollars it was the my gross income uh last year for 52 weeks and my uh, uh, uh of course my you know the income i live off of it is under twenty thousand dollars a year so we they all got to marvel at this dude who has thirty thousand dollars per week showing up in his mailbox, as it were, uh, w w w without lifting a finger. Uh, so we have that discussion, and uh, you know, talking about the kids and the grandkids. There's there's some of that, but not as much as not not as much as you would think. I am very happy to report, uh, <laughs> and, and uh, I, I'm just thinking, and if any one of them is listening to this, don't take this wrong. This is not a pejorative statement. This is a true statement. This is why we're fucked. Uh, th this is why, uh, it, 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 exactly the reason that we're fucked. Uh, I, I mean, the reason that we're fucked is, is, is people like me with, uh, you know, with my, quote, carbon and environmental footprints, that these people, I, I bet every one of them would, if you ask them, are you 
uh, 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 even the conservative ones, if, if not actually an environmentalist, they 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 would all consider themselves, you know, just environmentally responsible. I don't know. They probably still recycle and and, and all of this stuff. And my guess is it never crosses any of their minds where uh, 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 all of this shit comes from and, and the toll that it's taking on the planet. It just, it, 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 it's not that, it, on any level, they're, they're not just ostentatious uh, billionaire capitalist pigs. They're just, uh, you know, financially comfortable uh, and, and if they have the money, uh, they're, they're going to spend it. And it, it, this is, and, and, and as I say, I'm, it, this is not a pejorative statement at all. It's just a statement of fact that uh, people have uh, no conception of their carbon footprint. No conception whatsoever. Uh, 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 of, uh, of their lifestyle and consumer choices and their carbon and ecological footprints. No conception of it. It, 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 it has nothing to do with... Uh, it's nowhere in their brains when they are uh, making uh, consumer and lifestyle uh, choices so my you know my sister she has a I I think she has two granddaughters I think one of them well she's a teenager I think she's like 13 or 14 this gen gen Z or I, I think she's a gen Z or is what my sister said so my my sister says they have this little game going on. I, I guess that my my sister is is keeping some sort of journal for her granddaughter. Something like uh, she's writing a book for her granddaughter, passing on her wisdom. This is my 72 year old uh, sister, uh, and so each day. Uh, the the teenager prompts the boomer is how this works and so the prompt from the teenage girl to her grandmother is is grandma what have you personally ever done you know to save the planet to uh to, to quote help the situation to uh, live sustainably uh, for the generations that follow you however the question uh, I, I, I don't know the exact wording of the question but uh, the, it, 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 essentially you know what it was asking this was a, a teenager inheriting this mess was uh, asking my sister, uh, you, you, you know, not not like the question I received. You, you know, what is your advice? I'm sure that's part, but the the prompt of the day is, what have you personally ever done? Uh, to be a whatever environmental steward of this planet or whatever and, and, and my sister uh, much to her chagrin was talking like she did not know how to answer the question and so uh, <laughs> so my, 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 my sister kind of turns the question over to me uh, like, like how would you answer that question and, and I said it would take me one quarter of one second to answer that question and my sister's looking kind of confused at me 
and uh, I, I said I got a vasectomy at age 22 before I had any children and and, and uh, that right there is the only answer to that question I, I, I said but obviously uh, darling you cannot answer that question now my now my sister did get her tubes tied after her second child who is the mother of that girl uh, so uh, to my sister's credit she did get her tubes tied after uh, after number two and one of her two she had two daughters one of her two daughters is not a breeder uh, but her younger daughter had two daughters and we will see if they're breeders or not so I, I, I said that would be my answer uh, to, to that question uh, and, and, and there's no second place choice uh, it, 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 you know, it, it, you know, we we got into this whole discussion, you know, and I was telling her if I was a, a a fucking vegan, if I drove an electric car, uh, if I never got on an airplane, uh, any of these goddamn answers, uh, I, I could add every single one of them up, and they would not. Uh, equal uh, sterilizing myself before ever breeding. Uh, so we got in the, into that discussion and um, speaking of non-breeders and breeders, I think this damn uh, camera is getting ready to go out. So we watched Bill Maher last night. Uh, my sister and her husband are huge fans of Bill Maher, I think that's how you pronounce M-A-H-R. You know, I'm kind of on the fence about Bill. I know a lot of lefties can't stand him, that they feel like that he's kind of a backstabber. But I kind of like Bill Maher. Uh, he is not a breeder. And I think he is at least, uh, you, you can find on record where... Uh, he's, uh, he, you know, he's one of the few people talking about overpopulation. He's not a breeder. He is a big fat shamer. I'm not sure he's a breeder shamer, but you know what I mean. He does not encourage breeding. He shames fat people, uh, and he uh, is uh, somewhat. Uh, on the correct side of the corona panic uh, he is not on any level a corona pussy so I, I actually still have uh, some uh, respect so he first he had RFK Jr. on uh, which was uh, which was good unfortunately they talked too much about uh, the anti-vax bit and corona panic and stuff and every single thing that uh, RFK said uh, last night I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to repeat it every single thing that, RF, that came out of RFK's mouth uh, 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 they were particularly talking about the corona panic vaccine uh, I 100% agree with. It was just, just just being completely honest about it. And you know, RFK said, I am not an anti-vaxxer. And, and just like I am not, I am not an anti-vaxxer. There was not one thing that came out of RFK's mouth uh, 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 about the corona panic vaccine that, uh, that, that I disagreed with that was in any way, shape, or form, at least from my view, anti-science or, or anything. 
it was one of the most intelligent conversations I have ever heard about the Corona Panic vaccine, which is the reason, the number one reason, that RFK has zero chance of, uh, uh, of, of being elected. Uh, but because he's not an anti-vaxxer, uh, but the anti-vaxxers are still going to, uh, to, to vote for him, and he very well might pull more votes from Trump. But anyway, so after RFK was on, I wasn't paying much attention uh, to what was going on, but he had, but Bill had some, I have no clue uh, who this dude was. Uh, some bald-headed dude, I, we couldn't tell how old he was. We, it, it's hard to tell with bald-headed guys uh, how old they are. We're thinking that he was probably in his 50s, early to mid-50s, and uh, as I say, I wasn't paying attention until my ears perked up, and uh, he started whining uh, uh, about, you know, the, the drop in birth rates that uh, he, he had no problem with his message to people under 35. He was, he was, I think the statistic, and he probably has done his homework, <clears throat> that 27% of people under the age of 35, uh, I think this is Americans, that 27% of uh, uh, Americans under the age of 35 are not breeders. They have no children. And uh, which uh, I, I guess 27% is a, a whole lot better than 7%, but of course I wish it was 97% of people under the age of 35. And, and he was absolutely horrified by this, that 27% uh, of young people uh, are choosing uh, not to have kids. And I guess uh, another fellow named Don Lemon was on, and, and, and Don uh, breaks in, well, I don't have any kids, and Bill here, he doesn't have any kids. Uh, so it was great to see that at least the idiot breeder was getting ganged up on. So his number one message, I guess he has some book out that he's promoting it to young people, is get out there and breed. Uh, get out there, uh, you know, find a romantic partner, and have babies that, 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 uh, you know, he was talking about, uh, you know, how the economy, the global industrial economy, or at least the American economy, is depending on babies, that it needs to grow, baby, grow. Or, uh, and I'm thinking, halla fucking luya. Uh, it, it is the American, you know, talking about uh, how the American dream uh, is, you know, kind of sounding like the, not quite to the level of make America great again, but uh, talking about how the American dream uh, that, that, that is killing this planet uh, needs more and more uh babies being born into it and more and more young people spending more and more money and, and buying all of this planet eating shit. Uh, and uh, I could tell that Bill was squirming in his seat a little bit, but uh, he, he he just kind of changed the subject pretty quickly and uh, you, you could tell he wanted to get into it uh, with this uh, breed, baby breed 
uh, work, baby work, uh, spend, baby spend, consume, baby consume. But, uh, you know, and this guy was getting applause from Bill Maher's audience and, uh, and my sister and her husband. Uh, now, my sister's husband is not a breeder, and so he never had any kids. And uh, but n none of them were, uh, you know, arguing it. I did a little bit of my doomer take on it, but it was time for bed. So anyway, uh, I am coming into Lexington, Kentucky, I guess, pretty soon, and then uh, go uh, spend another night with a pair of, uh, one more night with the normies, and uh, then I will be back in Doomerville tomorrow. I will be pulling into New York, baby, tomorrow. Driving from Kentucky to New York in one day pulling this gator. Get out there and enjoy being a financially well-off, uh, healthy, slim, boomer in a happy successful marriage in your beautiful home while you still can my guys